In this video, we're going to talk about class and object and you will learn how to create a class, create an object and also delete object and we will talk about uh, properties and methods and um, self parameter and also the path statement. If you want to learn more about Python and other programming languages, make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this video, please like it. It will be a great support. Let's begin. So, as you may know, Python is an object-oriented programming language and almost everything is an object with its property and actually methods. If you're not actually um, familiar with classes and objects, I highly recommend you to watch my uh, video about um, classes and objects in C Sharp. That will help you to understand the concept of class and object. And here we consider that you are familiar with class and object and we will talk about only how to create a class and um, actually create an object okay so in order to create a class we use the keyword class as other programming languages so we use class here with small s okay so you see the color of class changed and this is a keyword and actually we have to um, name our class okay so I write, for example, um, first class. So this is the name of our class and you have to use colon here. And when you hit enter in the next line, be careful about indentation here. So I just want to actually here um, define a variable which is called the property of this class. I want it to be just a simple class, okay? With just one property, for example, um, my first class and I want to have its name and it equals to, for example, Alex. So this is my class and I can um, access um, to this uh, property of the class. Okay, so yeah, let's see how we can, um, for example, let's um, add another cell. So here I want to create an object. For example, um, I say X equal to, and here I want to um, use the name of the class first class okay and now here I have my object X is the object and I can actually access to this uh, property of the object which is name here I just have to use X here the name of the object and use dot and after that I have to just um, specify the name of the variable the name of the property that I want to uh, actually use so here I use name name is a property of my class and um, let me um, print this to see the result here, if I run it, well, we have error here. So actually we didn't write the name of the class correctly. So now I correct it. And if I run it, you see Alex is printed. By using this object, I can uh, actually access to uh, the property of the object, okay? The previous example was the simplest form of a class that is actually not used in real world of coding. And we use much more complicated classes I want to define a function, a built-in function that is used in classes in order to initialize the property of the class, okay? So let's first define a class like a person, okay? I use colon here, be careful about indentation. And in here, I want to define that uh, method. So I use def keyword and two underlines in it. And again, two underline. And here, inside these parentheses, you have to actually um, define those variables that you want to initialize, okay? So first, I use self. This is, actually, you have to use this self. I'll talk about self later. But now here, I use that um, properties, for example, name of the person and age, okay? So as other functions, I use colon here. And inside this uh, method, I use um, self.name. This self is a reference that shows that these properties name get belong to this class. Okay, I'll talk about it later, but just for now, you use this self. Okay, here I use self and name and self dot age equal to age. Okay, so this is our class and it has a method that initialize the variables, the property of the class, which is age and name. Okay, if I 
run it and here in the new cell I want to create an object well like pre uh, previous example I use for example p1 equal to person okay and here I have to initialize these um, variables these properties so I have to say um, a name like Alex and age for example 32 okay and I can use um, print here to print the for example name okay if I run it you see Alex is printed or age 32 okay as you see um, this function is used to initialize the variables okay you can use other methods for example here I can use um, def introduce so I use parentheses and I use um, self here okay and here like other uh, methods I have to use for example I use print here and I just want to um, say um, my name is and use um, self dot name here okay if I run it and run it here you see my name is Alex this is what is printed okay so we can actually make it much more better than this one so let's just call in here and another line for example to show you we can use multiple lines self dot name here okay and if I run this you see my name is Alex okay let's talk more about this self parameter here the self parameter is a reference to actually the current instance of the class okay and uh, as I told you it is used to access the variable that belongs to the class it doesn't need to be actually self you can also use another name for this self you can use for example X instead of that self and it also work uh, properly for example here I change it to X okay and I run it and here I want to create a, an object here p1 um, person and here Sarah and use for example here age 10 and I want to print um, for example p1 dot um, name okay you see Sarah is printed and this X is working you can also modify the actually value of properties for example in here I want to change the name of the person and change it to something else okay here I use p1.name and like this I can change the name to for example um, Chris okay and if I run it you see name is changed to Chris and it is printed you can also change age or other properties if you want to delete the object you can use del keyword in order to delete it for example in here you see p1 is an object and in the next line instead of actually changing the value of name I want to delete this object p1 okay and then I want to print the name okay and here I expect to see an error because in this line after the execution of this line there is no object actually with p1 okay so if I run it you see we have an error here p1 is not defined because p1 is deleted in this line before printing you can also um, delete the property of an object for example here p1.name um, I want to delete it I use del keyword so here if I run it you see there is no attribute called name okay so be careful the actually attribute of this object is deleted if I define another object that object that the second object still has its property all the properties okay it doesn't affect all the objects it just affects this object okay I'm not uh, actually deleting uh, the attribute I'm deleting the attribute of a specific object let's see an example I use p2 to create another person and let's name it Le uh, Leo and here 41 and um, here after this one let's uh, print it before this one because after that line we will face error because we deleted p1 so I use p2.name so first I want to print p2.name and after that p1.name okay I expect that uh, p2.name is printed and here we face error okay if I run it you see here we have Leo Leo still is here 
but after that we face error because this one p1 this object okay um has no attribute name okay and the last concept that we want to talk about is pass statement um classes like um loops like uh, if condition you cannot create a class and leave it uh, blank okay you have to um, somehow write something inside that class okay write attribute or uh, method okay so if i run this one you see here expect an indented block so we face error like other um, blocks for example if or loop in here you have to use a pass statement sometimes you want to create a class without defining any property or any method you can use uh, actually pass statement inside that class to uh, actually avoid facing errors here is the end of this session i hope it was useful for you now you are familiar with all the necessary keywords in order to define a class or create object delete a class and other uh, actually concepts related to the um, classes if you want to learn more about python and other programming languages make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video please like it it will be a great support if you have any question leave comment i wish you as soon as possible bye for now